Hey guys, welcome back to Combat to Hyperion, a series where I can only use combat money making methods to unlock a Hyperion. Now, in this episode, I'm going to be going over a 70 million coin per hour early game money making method that literally only requires you having the Crystal Hollows unlocked. Now, if you don't have it unlocked, you can unlock it in around about 2-3 to three hours max, and especially since the new mining updates come out, it's even easier. So, the only requirements are A. Having the Crystal Hollows unlocked B. Being able to deal 10,000 damage in an infinite number of hits C having looting 4 which costs 10,000 coins from the bazaar, and D being subscribed to Modcraft because if you're not doing that then the method won't work. But in all seriousness, um, I'm 150 subs away from 10,000 so I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe, but let's get into the method. Alright guys, so the first thing I want you to do is come over to the Dwarven Mines and I want you to buy a Crystal Hollows Pass. Now if you don't already have one then it costs like 10,000 coins for 4 hours. This is probably one of the most affordable things in the entire game. There's no way you don't have 10,000 coins. Um, so you buy that, and then I want you to visit PRTL or Portal Hub, or use slash warp crystal nucleus if you have the warp scroll, sending you to the crystal nucleus. Now what I want you to do is walk over to the, walk over to this area called the Mystical Deposits, and I want you to walk around for a bit and try and find a structure that looks like the one I'm about to show you. Um, some advice I can give you is A, you can ask in chat to see if anyone has the coordinates to the Corilon, the um, Corilon, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce it, Cor... Cor Corleonite, um, coordinates, the call I, I don't know how to pronounce the MP, okay. You just want to ask for the coordinates, right? Um, if I want to give you a hint, if no one wants to tell you what the coordinates are, then you can just walk towards these large areas of mobs because there's a good chance it is the structure you're looking for. But um, here's what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to go into the specifics on how to be making 70 million coins per hour because if you don't use some things I'm going to be talking about, then your money is probably going to be halved, if not worse. So basically, what you want to do is find a structure that looks something like this. Now it is a lot easier if you find a lobby that's already been set up, especially if you're newer to the game. But um, pretty much this is what it looks like. It'll be a giant bridge with water underneath, and there'll be the boss Corleon, 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 Corleon. I don't know the, the, the that guy, the boss Corleon, will be spawning. Now you also want to find this other structure, which is down here. Um, this one is probably more difficult to find, and this is how you double your rates. So pretty much you want to come down here, and there'll be a two. There'll be two areas where the boss can spawn. I'm just going to call it the boss from now. There are going to be two areas where the boss can spawn though. So down here is, for example, one of them. And then up there is the other one. You want to create a pathway between them and then run in between them so that, you know, you're getting the double the spawns. So double the rates of if you only use one structure. Now, some of them will spawn really far apart. This is probably one of the best lobbies I've ever found. So that's the reason why I'm showcasing it here. Okay, so the reason you want to grind this and the item you're trying to get from the boss is you're trying to get the Corleonite because it is a 25% chance and with looting four, now looting five is technically better, but it also costs 200 million coins more. So I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be using it, but what you wanna do is it'll increase the chance to around about 40% for a boss. Now you will be spawning around 40 bosses per hour per spawning area. So in this lobby where there are two, that means you're gonna be spawning about eight to 80 bosses per hour. Do the math there, that's around about 33 to 35 bosses per hour. Now, just to make sure this math is correct, I'm going to be doing the boss for an hour, and we're going to see how much money I make. Okay, so I did panic sell a little bit earlier because the price went down like 100,000 coins, and I was scared it was going to keep dropping. But in that hour, I got around about 36. I got the three in my inventory and the 33 I sold on the bazaar. But you know, I'm going to show you in a second that the price I sold just then was 1.85 mil, and it goes up, and at the time of recording, it is currently 2 million coins per. So if you add that up, the 35 per hour times 2 million coins is 70 million coins per hour. So yeah, that's pretty good. And I'm going to go over a few tips and tricks to be like ensuring that you're making the maximum amount of money. Okay, if anyone's confused, I'm going to explain this as simply as possible. Basically, each structure spawns 40 Corleonites per hour. Now, with looting 4, you have a 40% chance of dropping a drop worth 2 million coins. Now, if you can find two structures and combine them together and go between them, that means that you're getting 80 bosses per hour, 40% chance to get a 2 mil drop, which adds up to 60 to 70 mil per hour. Now, you own every person who kills the boss has the same amount of chance of getting a Corleonite, so you don't have to worry about being the last person to hit it. As long as you do 10,000 damage, you have a chance of dropping this loot. Um, the two structures can be found um, in the video. Oh, that is probably the best place to see pictures of them. Otherwise, just find a lobby and ask people for coordinates and if they ever give them to you, which is kind of rare and also kind of not rare. Um, hopefully with the promotion of this video, people understand that loot sharing is a good thing and that way everyone makes money. So maybe they're more likely to give you coordinates, but 
just look around and you will eventually find it so yeah so yeah um 70 mil per hour by using two boss spawning areas to kill a boss that is the entire method everything else in this video is just explaining the way the method works okay guys so here is everything i have learned over the i guess four hours now that i've spent grinding up colionite so a the colionite is a 25 percent chance drop which means that it is not affected by magic find as magic find only affects drops that are underneath five percent this does mean, however, that it is affected by looting, which means that with looting 4, it's about a 40% chance, and with looting 5, it's about a 45% chance. I would definitely not recommend you use looting 5 if you don't already have it, though, because it is 200 million coins, and looting 4 is 10,000. Now, what you want to double the chances and be making, you know, 70 million coins rather than 35, is you want the two structures, because, you know, the boss will the way the boss spawns is it will spawn every 60 seconds and then every 120 seconds, every 60 seconds and alternating like that, meaning that you'll be getting two bosses every three minutes or 40 bosses every hour. Now, obviously, if you have two spawning areas and you rotate between them, that means that you're getting double as many spawns and you're getting about 80 per hour. Now, there's a good chance they're going to be pretty far apart, so you might have to go looking for a little bit, but it is probably worth it considering that you're making double as much money. If you want to, you can be grinding in one area and then go looking while you're waiting for the boss to respawn. Now it is a 100% loot share, which means that whoever has the highest level of looting should probably be killing it because if one person gets a Corelli Knight, everyone gets one. So you don't have to worry about being the last person to hit it or any of that because everyone shares the loot. Okay, so really quickly, um, if there's anything I missed, then I'm gonna put it in the pinned comment, but I also wanted to say that if any video in this series hits 500 likes, I'm gonna be giving away a free rank or the Skyblock Gems equivalent to someone in the comments who is subscribed. Now, I can see if you're subscribed, so if you're not subscribed and you win it, then this kind of sucks for you because you're not gonna get the free rank. Um, it's pretty easy to subscribe as well. We're 150 away from 10,000, which is just an insane number. That's a third of the way to YouTube rank, so um, if you could subscribe, I'd really appreciate it, but let's get back to the tips and tricks. So I said that, you know, in the video, the price has gone up, which kind of sucks because um, if we just check, right now the price of Colionite is 2 million coins each, which is great for the money-making method, um, but not great for the fact that I sold a lot of these for like 100 and like 1.8 million, um, which means I did lose out on probably like, what, 10 to 12 mil. Um, I also made 160 million coins, so I'm not that upset about it, but it always could be better, you know. Um, I mean, I could be sitting here and the price could have dropped by 200,000 coins, and I could be celebrating that I made an extra, you know, 15 mil, so that's just the way Skyblock is sometimes. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe. This one's slightly shorter, but the whole point of the video is to talk about a money-making method, not really the series itself, so yeah. Okay, so for anyone who's stuck around the entire video, um, I have a secret. So at 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be announcing a Hyperion giveaway. So if you want to help me get there, and if you want a chance to win the most expensive and best weapon in the entire game, then I'll subscribe so I can announce the giveaway. But yeah, don't tell anyone, and um, I'll see you next time.